All right, this is a video for uh, doing this packet of tiny house drawings. And I need to show you some things so you can know how to do it. Here's your tiny house drawings. These are the 8x12s. So there's uh, a number of drawings here that I want you to recreate on graph paper. And I want to give you some advice on how to do it. The first thing you need to know is that I gave you a scale ruler. And these scale rulers are kind of confusing to people. But um, the drawing that I gave you is 3 sixteenths scale, which means 3 sixteenths of an inch equals a foot in real life. And I'm going to give you graph paper to do the drawing on. And we're, what we're going to do is each square is a quarter inch square, so we're going to do a quarter inch equals a foot in real life. So the packet includes different drawings uh, for tiny houses. <clears throat> and uh, the smallest one is 8 by 12, tiny, tiny house. And then there's 8 by 16. And then... There is 8 by 28. And there's, you have some choices, but you need to do three drawings, three drawings, the small one, the medium size, and the large. But you can choose which one you want to do. Um, and I think all of these have two stories upper level, lower level, which is kind of unusual for a tiny house, but gives you a lot more space. You're also going to see that there's templates for furniture and there's templates for um, some of the doors and uh, stairs. <clears throat> you can take your graph paper and trace those, those parts and draw them if you want. On your straight lines for your walls and stuff, I'd like you to use a ruler to get a nice straight edge. So, using this uh, scale ruler, it's confusing because there's a ton of scales on it. And what this is is 3 sixteenths equals a foot in real life. And it's hard for me to do. This is the, I'm going the wrong way. Don't laugh. There's the zero. So it needs to start at the zero on here. And what you're seeing next to the zero is um, inches. So that would be 3 16 scale in inches, those tiny little lines there. But you want to go zero. You see how it goes zero to two? So halfway in between there is one foot, and then from two to four, and halfway in between there is three feet. All right, so that's a little confusing. So let me just start by demonstrating it with a drawing. So if you take your graph paper, I'm going to change the camera here to try to help you see this. Forgive me for all the clutter on my desk. If you take your graph paper and you're going to go, all right, I know that this house is uh, I'm on the wrong scale. That's one eighth scale. Make sure you're on the three sixteenth scale, which is right here. And we already know it's eight feet because that's the dimension on here. But if you put it on here, the zero on your dotted line or your outside line, it goes to eight feet to the other one. So what you want to do is you want to take your graph paper and find a spot where you think you're going to draw this and make a point and count over eight in each of these squares is a foot that's four foot five foot six foot seven foot eight foot so there's one side of the house tiny house and you can draw that line like that using your ruler and we know it's 12 the other way so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
So there is two sides of our house and you can use your ruler to make a straight line and then you can just close off the box and I would recommend while you're laying this out you draw a nice light line so that if you need to you can go back and erase them there's the outside of my house tiny all right, now you'll notice in the drawing that the house walls are represented with dark lines, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make our house walls uh, six inches in. We'll pretend they're two by fours with a sheet rack inside and out, and we're just going to make it easy. So we're going to go half a square. So you can go halfway in, and we're going to go inside the lines that we have. And we're going to draw, get, try to be accurate with your lines here and make it parallel like this. And like that. And like this. Right. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is figure out your doors and windows. And um, after you get the doors and windows in, you can do the shading. So let's say we were drawing this pattern here. Uh, there's a window by the sink, two windows on the other side, and a door here. And you'll notice that the windows are um, two little lines in the middle of the wall, two little lines in the middle of the wall. And if you want to see how to use your scale ruler you take your 3 16 scale and you lay it on your drawing and you'll notice that that is a two foot wide window two foot wide window and two foot wide window because it goes from zero to two on the 3 16 scale so we know we're going to go two squares for our window we also should check how far over this is right so we're going to Put the scale ruler on here and go to the corner of the house. And it's actually two and a half feet over. Two and a half feet. So two and a half feet is going to be two squares and a half a square. So that's where our window starts. And then it's one, two, one, two, over. So now that you've got that window marked out, you could go this and be accurate with your ruler. And then you're going to just try to draw two lines in the center like that. Okay. Now your door, you might try doing this. So there is a door template on here, right? And if you put this underneath your graph paper, it's not going to show up on the camera probably, but this is going to be, actually you can't do that because the scale's off. So we need to see what the scale is. And does anybody know how wide doors usually are for outside? This door is three feet. So we can find the center of this, find the center of it, and go over at one and a half and one and a half. Why are we doing one and a half? Because one and a half is half of three. All right. And now the way the door symbol looks, if you look at this. Not very, it's kind of blurry, but oh well. It's two lines with an arc. So we can go like that. You can do one line if you want, that's fine. That's fine. And then you can freehand this arc, but try to do a good job with it. 
So there's our door shape. And when you put that door shape in, you're going to erase these wall lines because there isn't a wall there. It's a door. All right. Now, I'm just going to speed ahead here because there are two windows over here, but I'm not going to draw those. But what I want to show you is now you can go in and you can shade this in and this in and this in. Figure out your other two windows there. Uh, this plan does it. Oh, it's got a window in the back by the bathroom. All right. So now you're going to have to go figure out your cabinetry. This is a twin bed sofa. It flips out into a bed. You can see the dotted lines. Here's your sink. And no, this is your shower, sink, and toilet. And over here you've got uh, like a kitchen range, like cooktop and a sink. And probably would be like a refrigerator there. I don't know what this is. So you're going to have to draw both of these if you choose this one or both of these if you choose this one. So that ought to get you started on this. And uh, I will be available for questions on Zoom. So you're gonna have to you're gonna owe me three three drawings with two floors on each drawing. And there you go. Hopefully that helps you out.